all right guys welcome back to another video and in this video we're kind of gonna redo what is kind of gonna we, we will be doing an updated video on how to add vehicles to uh qb core because they did me they did make some changes uh recently not recently but maybe a month or two now they updated the core and how things are written within certain lua files especially uh, uh the vehicle lua uh someone requested this video maybe like 10 15 minutes ago and i did do this video but i wasn't recording my screen so i'm basically i'm doing it over right now i'm starting over the vehicle that we added was this vehicle a police vehicle and as you guys know uh you download the file once you download basically you hit that you on GTA Mod, you look for any vehicle files that you have. You guys are, should already know how to add vehicles already. But if you don't know how to maneuver around the new layout of the, the core and the vehicle lower file, that's what I'm showing you. So I don't need to go over every single detail, just the updated uh, build, just the, up, the updated layout. So once you download your files, yep. WinWire, it's gonna be in WinWire. We're gonna extract the files and we put it I put it here within uh my vehicle resource. So on the resources I have a folder that I call vehicle brackets vehicles within brackets. We open that and we're looking for a vehicle. This is the vehicle that we added. Now once we find the vehicle that we've added, you wanna to head to the stream folder. And we want to look for the .ytd folder. If you cannot see that, you want to hit view in your status or taskbar within the window. And you want to make sure that file, file name extension is selected. All right. So whatever the YTD file name is, that's the spawn code of the vehicle. And that's what will be needed. Um, so with that said, let's head to, let's open another window actually. So once we're in your resource folder, our resource, uh, our resources, we head to QB, we head to QB core, we head to shared, and then we open vehicles.lua. Within vehicles.lua, the first thing you'll see is this basically. Yes, this is the new layout of all the laid out all the vehicles, but we're not gonna be worried about any of these. What we're gonna be worrying about is this right here. So the first vehicle is called a uh, Asbo. I think that's what it's called. Basically, we're gonna copy this layout. Once you hit copy on that layout, head all, to, all the way to the bottom, above where it says vehicle do for all these calls and whatnot. I have a dev working in the server and he basically did, he basically copied the whole thing, which you didn't have to you can do it that way but you don't have to to make it easier this is how you do it yep you paste what we just copied you want to paste it and then you want to make changes to it so as i said i did this earlier and it didn't i didn't it wasn't recorded so what you want to do for the model name as i said this has to match the spawn code of the vehicle most of you guys should know this already, but if you don't, the name that we get from here, which is a spawn, the name of the vehicle, the dot .ytd folder, that's the name of the ytd file, sorry, that's the name of the vehicle. That's what you wanna put in the model for the model. Paste it in the model for the name. You can, it can be the same thing. I just call it police SUV. That's the display name, it doesn't matter. For the brand, same thing. Uh, price, that's up to you. Category, that's up to you. Could be custom. I have this on the police. Type of vehicle. If it's a four-wheeler, if it's a four-wheeler, a regular vehicle, it's an automobile. You can see the documents for reference, so you can better label the types. Shop is where the vehicle will be placed. What shop the vehicle will be placed into. So if it's like a luxury shop, it will be placed in, it will be placed in the luxury shop. If it's PDM, it will be placed in PDM. So once you've done that, once you've added the vehicle and you save your Lua file, yes, make sure that the vehicle is started. 
within the server. Let's start. Let's start the server up actually, while I can. Okay, he's still here. All right. So the vehicle that we just uh, spawned, or not spawned, sorry, added. Let's bring that out. I didn't restart my server, but yeah. so here it is. This is a car that we just downloaded and added in. So there you see it. it's working all well. Now, because I didn't restart the server, any changes that you make to your core, which is the QB core file, the, the resource itself. So any changes that you made makes that you make within there, the server is going to requ require you to restart in order for those changes to apply or take effect. So because I didn't restart it, if I were to do admin, admin car, you can store this vehicle in your garage, meaning the vehicle is not registered in the core. But if I were to restart the server, then the vehicle will be registered in the core and it will become saveable. You can, I can customize the vehicle and then park it in a garage. I can own the vehicle. So because I didn't, I cannot own the vehicle. So I hope this helped you guys. I hope you guys understand how it works. Now. It's pretty much the same thing. It's not different. It's just that the layout is different. And this is why... If the layout is different, oh my god, the siren, hold on. Yeah, if the layout, if the layout is, the layout is different, but it's the same. It's just, it's the same thing, it's the same way, don't worry about it, just continue doing what you're doing. You know, just use, as I said, copy what they suggest, and then you may change to that, and you hit save, and that's it, it's as simple as that. Nothing to worry about. As I mentioned, like, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, I decided to do a server for myself with a, with a few people. And if you guys are interested in, you know, joining the server, seeing what it's about, there, there are a few different things in here. I need to change this Luxar thing. I was trying it out because I, I figured it would be different, but I don't like the look of it. This cop control thing, I don't like it, but I'm going to change it. But yeah. If you guys are interested or wanted to try it out or have a look at it, see what it's about, you're open. You, know, you guys are, you know, welcome to try. Welcome to have a look around, see what it's about. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, let me know. I'm kind of, I'm honestly looking for feedback on this server. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I, I should mention it's basically, it's a, it's a serious roleplay server. So like a lot of things in here, you're going to have to like, it's like, I eat a green economy server, so you'll be doing a lot of grinding, you'll be doing a lot of, a whole lot of shit, just to make money, you know what I'm saying, it's not come in easy going and then you make a million dollars by the end of the week, that's not how it's gonna go, you know what I'm saying, and the prices are pretty much next to realistic, so nothing is super expensive, to put it simply, five hundred dollars or a thousand dollars is a lot of money within the city within the server so it, it, if that should sum it up so you can understand what i'm on about but yeah with that said y'all have any more requests that you might need or anything else that you guys want to see in terms of the changes that have been made just let me know um yeah i'll do a video on it and i think that should be fine for now I think but yeah let me know if you guys want to see a video on a specific topic or anything else until next time y'all peace and i'll catch you in the next one